Hello, my name is Jay, and welcome back to my Tech Vault. And today we're going to talk about the Radeon 3000 series that supposedly leaked to come out. And today I want to dedicate the video to talk about is it going to be worth it to wait or, and buy it, or should you buy your cards now looking at what we currently have? So, obviously, there's a lot of different things. People say a lot of different things about this. And I want to take today's video to compare kind of what the expected stuff that we're going to see from NVIDIA, the expected stuff we're going to see from AMD, and then actually what we have now. So, let's just start by doing a quick rundown. So, if you're not familiar, NVIDIA has the RTX graphics cards that have some ray tracing, one game that has ray tracing, and the rest use some type of AI rendering and basically the ray tracing is very uh, selective and of course highly, uh, I guess, experimental so that Battlefield was able to change it up a little bit and get a much more FPS. So right now it's kind of still experimental, I would say, and it's not really something that I would say a major selling point on a graphics card, especially when only one game supports it. Now obviously I'm not saying that in the future ray tracing won't be a big thing, I'm just saying right now it's not necessarily the um, support across the board and I don't know if that's something you should really consider when you're going out to buy a new graphics card. I mean obviously if you want to have that for the next couple generations and you want to have it for the newer games and yeah that's something to think about but as at the moment since we're kind of doing this video at the moment should you wait I think that it's kind of important you keep that in mind. So let's talk about these new high-end graphics cards so we can also talk about the mid-range. So I'm going to basically break this video up into kind of two parts. For the mid-range gamer person that's kind of going from the low to the mid-range, um, probably anywhere from like zero dollars to like a hundred, well zero dollars to like four hundred dollars, and then we'll probably go from like maybe, I do say zero to five hundred dollars, and then five hundred up, which is where things get really expensive, where the 4K, 4K gamer goes. So for the 4K gamer, the prices kind of get really exponentially higher. Um, you start with like the five hundred dollars for the uh, 2070, RTX 2070, then you go up even farther to an RTX 2080, like at $800. And then you go up even higher to an RTX 2080 Ti, which is at 1300 So basically, if you look at those, the, the amount of price you know, gaps are quite substantial. And the performance differences, I would not, compared to the previous generation, about, and how well the previous generation performs, are not really justified to me. But from what we've heard from these leaks from AMD, which are actually quite promising, is that these graphics cards, especially the high end, the 3080 I believe, um, will basically be equivalent to a 2070 for around $300. Now obviously a 2070 is $500 and so if you're going for something that you want like a nice decent 4K machine, 4K graphics card, obviously you're not going to be expecting to get ray tracing because that's kind of something that NVIDIA has recently done. But if you want to go for like a mid-range graphics card, something that runs uh, 1080p perfectly, uh, 1440p, uh, 144 hertz, all that stuff would be what the, this 3080 should be able to do. Now for the lower end stuff, this is thing where things get interesting. If you're unfamiliar with what's actually been going on in the graphics card market lately, we've had AMD come out with an RX 590. We've had AMD release a 1060 6 gigabyte with GDDR6 or GDDR5X, which is basically a much faster um, or a faster memory uh, video memory that it was on the previous 1060 6 gigabyte. So it's basically a slight increase. So these are like two mid-range gra graphics cards. Both companies released a little bit a while ago, and so these graphics cards are now out there and people are buying them and it's kind of like you know should you buy it or should you not so these mid-range graphics cards basically are kind of like holders they're kind of something that's trying to hold us off till we actually see the main graphics cards the kind of the big stuff that's coming out and so what i would be surprised to expect and or what i would not be surprised to expect is that AMD or NVIDIA is waiting out on their graphics cards to their current supply of the old gen run out to release their newer cards, which will be at a much higher price, as we saw in the previous or in the upper, the 2080, 2080 Ti, 2070. All those cards are much substantially higher than the counterparts of the last generation when they released. So these graphics cards are going to be held out and then released when they run out of supply, therefore making it impossible to get the old generation, even though it's much cheaper and much more practical, you have to pay for the new stuff, which is what we already saw. So then if you look at what AMD did, right now they have the last gen of Vegas 64 and 56, and there, there's a lot of rumors floating around of these 3000 series from AMD. And I would say that these cards, from the rumors, are supposed to be a much lower price. I would say since we've, we haven't really seen anything to compare it to, so it's kind of hard to tell. But from what these rumors suggest, it'll be a much lower price for the people that are having a budget around or below 
uh, $500 or below. So people that are having that budget are much more likely, I would say, to wait and get that graphics card. If you're going for something like you have like a $2,000 budget on your PC and you want to get something like a 2080, 2080, RTX 2080, I'd say that's probably within range. But what happened, what may happen, or what will happen, is that if AMD comes out with a really um, competitive product, all the graphics cards will slowly shift down. I mean, I'm not expecting the 2080 to drop, 2080 Ti and 2080 to drop too much because there's not going to be any competition. So if you're going for a high-end graphics card, it's probably best, like the 2080 or the 2080 Ti, it's probably best, it doesn't matter really when you buy. Um, but when you're going for something below $500, everything's going to shift if these rumors are true that AMD um, basically will have all these graphics cards, um, all the graphics cards will kind of drop in price because of AMD, if these are true. Um, but thank you very much for watching. I hope I was able to help somebody with their um, graphics card buying. And as always, thank you very much for watching. Check out my channel for other cool tech-related news, videos, reviews, things like that.